Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one of my Back to Basics series. This time we're going to go and delve into the wonderful world of fighting. Now we have waited until now to get into the wonderful world of fighting because first we had to learn where the large points were. That is very very important. If you do not know where large points are on the board, then you clearly cannot really make an accurate determination on what you should be fighting for. Are you fighting for like 5 points or are you fighting for 50? If you can't really make that determination, then fighting is just going to kind of be at random and your results are going to be mixed at best. However, I should also point out we are not going to be going too far away from what we have learned thus far. We are still going to be looking at shape. We are still going to be looking at uh, large points, both, you know, our opponent's large points, opponent's shape, our large points, our shape, and things like that. We're still going to be looking to take care of our shape. We are not going to be going crazy. We are not going to be randomly fighting over everything. We're going to try to make intelligent decisions on when we should and should not be doing these things. And I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, we've got a game and I'm white and there are your coordinates. Ooh, you said hello. I will say hello as well. And start playing as per normal. We're not really going to care too much about what we play in the opening. I'm just going to do a dual 4-4. Why not? That part is not going to change. He is playing Chinese. Um, didn't want to tackle this, really. Alright, so basic thing here, I don't want to jump into a pincer, so I'm going to approach either on the outside here, or I'll try to approach on the outside here and get him to cover up, you know, that whole jumping into the whole pincering thing. Long story short, that's... I'm instead going to just take an enclosure. Because I know that he wants to expand off this. This is a nice... A uh, flexible way of playing. He played here. Ooh, key. I'm going to push him towards my uh, in my uh, thickness. So I'm going to. I probably ought to do this, but I'm not really. Mm, yeah, I am. I will go ahead and approach very, very close. Push him here, and then probably kick or throw in. Okay, we're going to not do that. We're going to do this instead. We defended. He went into my lovely three four point or uh, three three point. Sorry. I have a choice which way I want to block him. I can block him this way, and then I kind of build towards nothing, or I can block him this way, and that's fine too. I'll block here, and I'll double Hane, that way I get the corner, or I'm getting a thicker outside. Either or is fine with me. He'll probably take the outside. Yes, he is. I'll get my corner back, like so. Alright, so we are going to have our first hint at fighting. I want to point out that this move is way too close to, thick, to his thickness. It kind of hurts the value of capturing the one stone here. If we want to contemplate how we're going to be fighting in this game, we need to figure out where our forcing moves are. And for that, we see that we can keep this low, either here or here, which is really, really good for us. So that's something to have in the back of our head. This is large enough that we can approach normally, as is this one. I think what I'm going to do, though, is something along the lines of... I don't know. I want to approach on the inside here. Because these two points are about equal, right? Equidistant. He's kicking me, I'm going to get a base. Now, I'm actually going to get a base like so. He's defending himself. We're behind enemy lines. We're going to defend ourselves. And I played this for a reason. These two stones, he defended them cool. But I can still approach here now, and with this extra group over here, I've kind of got the beginning of a sandwich taking place. Unless he takes this for himself, which he didn't, so we will take it for ourselves. So he's trying to grow off of this. Ooh, ouch. Um. Hmm. Not a fan of this move. It allows me to drop down if I want and isolate this, or play here if I want and attack this. This is actually bad. He should have just played here. Um, which one do I want to do, though? I have to make a fighting decision. Do I want to play here and isolate and attack these two stones? He gets the bottom. Or do I take the bottom away from him? And see what he does there. 
I think the more intelligent decision is to go after this than this. So I will drop down. We're getting shape. That stone's cut off, which we're happy about. That does not threaten to link under, so I don't care. We're just going to do something along the lines of this instead. Threatening to go into the large knight. That's his weak point. So we're defending ourselves in Sente. Same thing with this. He can't cut through. Otherwise, we kill off these stones. Same thing. We still cut off and kill off those stones. We're also going to... Oh my god. Okay, that's a shape. Um... Same thing, he goes here, we can play here. If he moves out, then we Atari connect, drop down, and then those stones are dead, so we can't do anything about that. However, one thing that we need to note here is this is a really huge point. Like, if you can envision me pushing and him blocking, there's this dual connection, right? I can, like, Atari here, or I can, like, connect up through there. So this is, this is, not, this is not very good for him just yet. But I will take a brief break and defend my group and see where he wants to go. He's defending himself. I guess I have Sente now because we've strengthened this, we've strengthened this. Uh, I can attack this, but maybe later on. Maybe later on. So, do I have any other weak groups to take care of? Not. Not right now, so I can go off and do other things. Well, there's an invasion point here and here, because there's like a large area over here. I won't be greedy and just poke at the 3-3 uh, three, three instead. Because I know I can't kill this because it's alive. So this point is not as interesting. If this was weak, this would be a very interesting point. But it's not really, so I don't care. I'm looking towards maybe forcing him to cover it up. He's not really wanting to fight us, though, which is a little bit of a sad thing. I have a poke here, which is nice. I'll be playing that after I get Sente out of this variation. He's going to play here, I'm going to play here, he plays there, I take, he goes there, and then I'll play there. Or he'll play that, which is a little bit bad, because now I can play here and go underneath, so this could potentially not his territory when it probably should have been. So now he poke. This is the next weakest part on the board. He's saying that I get to con I get to cut him off. Okay. Okay. Um. Is there any reason to leave this behind? None that I can think of. This shoulder hit here is a really great way to force him to take his territory and make me a little bit stronger in the middle. Hmm. I will go ahead and play through here. This is the proper way of following up the cut and not just dropping down, otherwise he takes control of your shape a little bit too easy, like the Hane there, and then you block and you connect, then you like, then you connect, and then you can like drop down after that, and then like so you drop down, and then you're kind of dying, and it's just, mm. So usually we play this way, yeah, and then that's not quite right. Uh, it's close though. I mean, you know, it's close. Uh, I can play here and then here. I'll do it. This was the this was the vital point. The clamp to take control of the stone. He didn't take control of it. So now when I bamboo, I am in either or scenario. Hello. Okay, he could have played here because that threatens to kill me, and then I have to respond. And then, but we're gonna play here and kill off the stone. So we profited, and now this little L group. Um, yeah, this little L group is looking for friends. Maybe over here? Nope, over there, okay. Um, I will respond once. After that, it's not Sente, so I'm not going to care. And then we're just going to go and reduce. But how is the question? I need to know his next move. Okay, his next move is there. Um... <laughs> Leaning towards pushing and then playing the Hane, if I cut through right here, it opens up this cutting point for him, which gives me liberty problems here, right? 
So if I push one more, and then Ihanes, and then I play here, there's no liberty problems with that one, because I've got one, two, three after his turn, so we can't really do a whole lot. Or he could just do that. Or he can just do that. I'm going to keep extending and see how large of a wall I can get, because it just hurts this group even more. Do. Good Atari for forcing move. Uh, drop down, threaten to cut through. This is really big. If he's paying attention, he's going to Atari. Oh, nice. That was a pretty good move. Shapish. All right, we're going to connect now so we can further reduce. He defended himself, and that was the right decision. That does nothing because he can't cut. That does nothing as well, so we're going to reduce. Because you see, we've already made the extra moves in the middle to be happy and strong, right? So because we defended ourselves in the middle, because we're not weak there in the middle, we can afford to do things like this. If this was weak, and this is why we really, really emphasized uh, defending our groups, getting shape for our groups, because later on down the road, we can do other things. If we hadn't done any of this, Instead of this, we'd have to like connect up, or we couldn't even make this in the first place because then you just divide this and then something dies. So you can see here, I'm making sure that my shape is completely a-okay. Uh, I'm going back and paying attention to this is there. So I'm gonna poke, because he's threatening this, right? The ladder kind of loosely gets messed up. Not a fan of that. Um. Where's next weak point? Maybe here's a weak point. I don't like playing it though. Because my idea is this. I think this group is okay, but I'm not sure if this one is okay. I want to see if I can defend it in Sente, or at least get more here for myself. So I'm seeing that I'm never going to be able to attack this, so I'm going to actually go ahead and attach here and see if I can't get away with getting this move in. Okay, yeah, I did. Uh, one more. Mending and Gote, I'm take as much as I can before I end Gote. All right, there we go. So we took everything we could possibly get our hands on before we ended in Gote. Uh, same thing here. I'm gonna have to look. look it looks like I'm gonna have to cover this weakness. So I want to see what's here first before I go back and do it. This is a mistake, and if he's if he cuts me, he's about to die. He needs to read this out very, very carefully. Nice. Um, hmm. I'm debating if I wanted to play here and just give up these two stones, or if this is still something that's something that I can actually attack. I don't think I I don't think I can. If I play here, you can like try to. If I play here, he can do a small knight. I have to attach to it. So you can see how tenuous this connection is getting. I think I'm. Uh, I think I can just give up the two stones. Just give up the two stones. They don't matter. Yep. I want to Atari, but I won't. That's a uh, um, cow threat. Sorry, brain, brain freeze. So this is okay. It looks like we're kind of getting okay here, especially with the Atari there. He can't try and do anything weird. Although those both slice his head off, and that would be uncomfortable. But what is this move? I can play here now. Kind of weird. Um, I don't know what else to do. I mean. There's this. I guess I can. If, I, if he lets me take this stone, then this entire corner is weak. And now he needs to play move like over here or over here in order to make his eyes, because if I play something like this, then he's in trouble again. We're going to go, okay. 
He does not gonna go. Oh no, he's gonna die. We had no intention of actually killing this, keep in mind. It just kind of happens. Because like, if he plays here, I can play here. He can't play here. So I don't have to worry about this, which is why I don't care. So I'm playing this instead. Yes. Taking here. Connect. This is not a cow worth fighting over. That, that there's no points here is, you know, more than enough. That's fine. Um... I'm actually not sure. Oh, is it getting kind of sketchy? I mean, I can play here, and then he plays there, and I play there, and then he doesn't have any eyes besides none, besides this one, I guess. I can play here. I guess. Overtime countdown has begun. I can play here. I don't think I'm going to kill this. I don't think we can kill this. I really don't. It looks like it's really close, but I'd have to play here in order to do it, and then he gets to play here, and like come in through there. Like, right now, I would need to play like this move. That seems kind of sketchy. Like, if I actually go for it... Hmm. We're in Sketch City, baby. I think I'm just going to back off instead. I don't really see a reason to no. keep trying to kill him here. He poked out his shape. It's good enough. I'll defend my corner, because if I play elsewhere, even if I think I can kill him, if I, if I can't, that's big. Um... If I play this one now, if I play here... Yeah, I, this is, mmm, I don't, I don't know. A lot of games like this just end just like that. I mean, you realize that there was something there that you missed. And here's a great opportunity to just say, you know what? I'm just going to let you out. I'm going to take these stones. I'm not going to try to kill the whole thing. I profited from this attack. I don't care what you're doing. I've got my profit. You can go do whatever you want. It's going to be Sente, because exactly, yeah, mm-hmm. And it's still Sente, too, because if I Atari here, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Atari here, Atari here, and I can cut, mm-hmm. Oh, man, this is so brutal. Oh, man, I can, I can cut through that. But he can probably get an eye there, so I won't. I'll play here instead. This way, if I actually do cut through this, then you'll be dead. Again, that's not Sente. I mean, the question is, like, is that really Sente? You have to always ask that for your opponents. Uh, this is going to sound really, really negative, but one really good way of getting stronger at this game, in terms of fighting, is assuming your opponent is playing bad moves. Like, your opponent plays something, ask yourself, why is that move bad? Because that puts you in the right mindset of figuring out how you can use it to your advantage. That 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 helped me anyway. Um, crap, man. Uh, do I get to do I get to cut here? I do. I really do. The Atari's into an Atari. And he's dead. There's nowhere to run. And that is GG. We made strong shapes. We protected our shapes repeatedly. We went after large points as it came about. And that's game for you. Didn't go after anything too uh, much. Not sure what this is, but I think we're okay. If necessary, I'll give up these two stones. If there's something here that actually works, I don't really see anything though. 
Uh, there's this that goes to nowhere. That's an Atari, but I connect. And you resign. <gasps> I just hit voice review and not the other review. Um, that's bad. In three more games, we're going up twice to 2Q, by the way. Let's see if I can't show you this. Uh, where's my... Where's my emergency cam? Or my emergency uh, monitor capture? Not that one. Second one. There we go. Okay. Hate being on monitor capture. You never know when you're going to show something you shouldn't. But, all right. We got that. We got that. Here we go. Let's review. So in this game, just a quick recap. He played an opening, which is a little unfortunate. I didn't really want my opponents to play an opening because it kind of gets into the question of how do you deal with the opening and not necessarily how do you focus on the fighting thing. So not the best kickoff to the series, but I thought it was pretty reasonable overall. We play just a normal enclosure. This is not small. This is not bad. This is actually completely fine for the Chinese because they want to they want to like expand here. And if you get some kind of a uh, pincer here, it's kind of hard to call this an expansion because we're now under attack and we can only get like this little thing. So this is obviously going to be like assaulted. So this move kind of prevents them from expanding quite as far as they want. So they usually don't bother and take like this move or an approach up here instead. He split me. Okay. One to the three, three. Okay. That. Mm -mm. He needs to play something like this instead to kind of try and make this nice and big. This is way too overconcentrated. You have to view this as thickness, and we would never play this close to thickness. This I agree with completely. I agree with this completely. I don't agree with that one. I would probably want to play something like this if my opponent uh, uh, extends. Then I can either keep making territory, which is <clears throat> pretty big here, or I can attack. Getting that move in anyway. Pretty good. Instead he played here, so I got to approach. And I think he might actually want to just back off here. Because even backing off this way has potential problems with it. Because now, are these two stones stronger than these? Mm-mm. So maybe back off low here, as to not give those free forcing moves. And if our opponent plays this way, maybe we keep him in. If he jumps out again, maybe we poke at him and keep him in. This is a lot different than what he played. So he played this way. I agree. I... I'm on the fence about this one. I kind of really want to play here. Or maybe see if I can borrow strength from here first before playing something like that. That way, black got stronger. We leaned on the strong group to get stronger while not touching the thing that we actually want to fight. So here, if he wants to fight me, this is bad because it's giving me forcing moves and forced me to strengthen myself and nah, not too good. I like this. He took a move, an entire move, to defend himself, just like we did. Since we defended ourselves, we get to do invasions and things like that, so we did. I disagree with the variation he picked here. Uh, I think this one is a much better in this particular instance because now he's probably going to keep this territory. And in our variation, you saw that we got to play this later on, which kind of hurt him. Here we play this, the clamp. This is this is the offending move that's starting to destroy us. And we can just grab shape. Now compare this shape that we have here 
to that. Much better, right? Mm, I like the idea. I don't like this, though. This, he's so strong in this area that this is the only time he's going to get a chance to use all of this thickness to attack a group. And passing it up is like saying my previous moves meant nothing. All that influence, all that strength we got, we usually we try to use it to attack something. That is something. But he went away. So why did you build up that something that you want to attack with if you don't then attack with it when you get the opportunity? Bad idea. Bad idea. This is a must. This is an absolute must. Backing off here and missing this attack, letting white put the attack firmly back on you, is kind of like passing. I mean, I, I can't emphasize enough how enormous that is, because now I'm getting shape. He needs to cut through that. Needs to cut through. Needs to cut through. There's no question. Needs to put the pressure back on me. He didn't, and I just got to reduce everything. Kept going after our shape, and then from here it's pretty much simple. He plays something, our ladder is questionable, so we defended it. We wanted a base, but we didn't want to play something in Gote. Just like this, or like this. Might as well play here. If he cuts on the inside, you might be wondering. Good enough. Good enough. Quick defense. Again, next weakest thing. Nice, methodical. Defend your weakest thing as it pops up. Go after his weakest thing as it pops up. Assuming that your weakest thing is okay. So the course of the series, we'll be exploring that particular idea. Hopefully we can get someone who's a little bit more into not doing the whole framework thing, and we'll see how that goes. This was just too sad, though. There's no reason for this group to die. Like, this is what I was referring to. Like, this whole thing? Like, can I actually... I don't know. I don't think I can. Hold, I don't know if I can hold this. I really don't know. Maybe I can, but it, it was pretty iffy. And all he needed to do here was just like, meh. Then he's fine. Make sure that his shape is okay, just like we were doing the entire game. He's a really make certain use his time ensure his shape's okay. He didn't last last try. There might be a co, but it's better off that there is than the other variation. And then that was the end of that. So that starts our first look into how we're going to fight and over what we're going to fight. Join me next time as we both rank up to 2Q, I think. No, 3Q, sorry. Join me next time as we rank up to 3Q as well as get into some more fighting games and explain a little bit more on how we fight, why we fight, and how to keep that nice, simple, and basic. Hope you enjoyed the series, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.